Eric Sean has been following up right now on many of the New York City Detectives Endowment Association who are of the same mindset here and have had it with protesters who dare attack any of their members. Eric, what's the latest here? Yeah, hi, Neil. Yeah, they really have had it. Uh, you know, so much of the attention they complain has been on uh, the protests dealing with police violence against protesters and others. But the union that represents NYPD detectives, well, it's turning the tables. The Detectives Endowment Association vows to sue any rioter, protester, or looter who attacked police. The first lawsuit has been filed against a looting suspect who is accused of stealing items from a CVS pharmacy on Fifth Avenue in Manhattan. That suspect allegedly attacked Detective Joseph Nicolesi. Nicolesi claims he was injured in that struggle when the 19-year-old suspect resisted arrest. What the union says suing suspects will also ensure that alleged rioters and looters face justice if prosecutors decline to file any charges. They have had urine thrown at them, rocks thrown at them, shot at, assaulted. I don't know how much more they could take. They, they're putting up with a lot out there. And, uh, you know, they are the finest in the world. And they're doing a, a fabulous job. But they're being demonized by the elected officials. But some doubt that the lawsuits will succeed because of laws that protect the police. Prominent civil rights attorney Ron Kuby says for law enforcement officers to sue citizens, he says they should surrender the legal restrictions that serve them, like qualified immunity and the fact that cities often legally indemnify officers from lawsuit damages. That prevents police officers from being sued personally. If the police want to use the civil law as a tool in their policing, those of us who pay their salaries uh, uh, have the opportunity now to engage in some real reform, which is stop the indemnification of, of cops. But the detectives union says it is pressing forward, starting with these lawsuits against those who attack police. And you know, Neil, uh, the NYPD says 354 officers were injured during the protests. And of course, this comes amid the controversy and the fact that New York Mayor Bill de Blasio and the city council are considering cutting some of the police budget and trying to institute some reforms. Neil? You know, that did not go well with the New York City uh, Police Commissioner either. Eric, thank you very much. My friend Eric Sean on all of that.